Hello Internet. Today I present a short video on turning a honey dipper from a scrapwood piece of a plum tree. As an exercise, I designed the honey dipper with respect to the golden ratio roots. I often found it difficult to make design decisions, for example during turning a wooden piece and adding a particular shape to the workpiece. There are many questions, where to set the intersections, where to add the curves, how to split an object into different sections. So many questions and decisions that cannot be changed anymore once the decision has been made. To the rescue, there are different proportion rule sets out there that are in use in art, architecture and craftsmanship for a long time. One of these proportion paradigms is the golden ratio. The golden ratio, often represented with the Greek letter phi. It is based on an equation 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 equals phi. This equation produces a decimal that proceeds infinitely without repetition. For a practical purpose, we can use the rounded decimal 1.618. If we divide a line segment by the golden ratio into the segments A and B, then A has roughly 62% and B has roughly 38% of the length. You can find the golden ratio also in nature and therefore the ratio seems to be a very natural proportional paradigm and is very pleasant for us to look at. Without going too deep into the details, I want to use this paradigm for my projects in the future. So why not start with something simple like a honey dipper? To define the length of the sections of my workpiece, I use the golden ratio caliper that I printed on my 3D printer. The caliper can easily be used for different use cases and can also easily be made by your own. I will add a link to a description and to the Thingiverse model in the video description.
there is not much more to say. The plum tree was rotten at some places and the remaining parts of the workpiece were pretty hard and dry. Therefore it was a little bit of a challenge for me as a beginner into wood turning, but the outcome was, at least in my eyes, very good. suggestions or recommendations, please let me know in the comments. As I said, I'm not a perfect wood turner and will have to learn a lot. Like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content and want to see more of it. This is an important feedback for me. For the finishing I sanded a piece using sandpaper to a 300 grit sandpaper. I did the final food safe finishing using some bee wax and olive oil. I'm not sure what is the best and I have to play around with different finishings especially for the food safe objects. But this is a topic for another day. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and have a good time. See you again back on my channel. Thank you for watching and have a good time.